Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly clean the ME region of uh, BIOS or EFI. In this example, we are gonna be uh, working on uh, 820-3437 uh, EFI dump from a MacBook Air 13 inch 2014. So first thing, first thing we are gonna do with this file is uh, figure out which ME region it has. So we are gonna download ME Analyzer. So we go on the official repository. Click on Release. Find the latest releases of ME Analyzer. Download the raw file. Okay. Now that it's downloaded, we are gonna extract it to our okay, extract. Now that we have ME analyzer right here, uh, we are gonna copy our file in the directory, mm -hmm. run ME analyzer, and uh, here we are gonna enter the name of our file, so our file is a 20 bin and now we have all the information we want on the ME region, so here we have the version 9.5, very important, SKU slim, very important too, and uh, we also have some additional information, for example, we know that it's for Lynx point LP chipsets, that's what we have in this MacBook 8 series chipset for Haswell platform, LP for U and Y platform. Anyway, now that we have all this information, what we are gonna do is we are gonna download the appropriate flash image tool. We command you to take a look at the Android flash image tool. And here we are gonna look for the Intel ME system tools and we are interested in the 9.5 version. So download it. Download. We're gonna extract. extract. Okay, here we go. So now that we have uh, Intel ME System Tools 9.5, we are gonna open Flash Image Tool, Flash Image Tool Fit C. Okay, and uh, what we are gonna do is go back into a working directory we don't need uh, in the analyzer anymore and we are gonna drag and drop this file into the flash image tool window okay so now it has opened our file and uh, what we can do is uh, check a few parameters so, for example, bootgrad must have a default profile, so that's good. And integrated clock controller must have a profile too, must not be unknown. So now that we have made those check, we're gonna save the configuration, save as working directory. I'm gonna use the same name but with dot .xml Okay, let's save it. And now what we're gonna do is find an original ME region for this EFI. So in the case of Apple, you can, for example, go find Apple EFI repository find the update files 
for your MacBook. So here it's a MBA61 that we're gonna take. For example, the latest file. I'm gonna download it. Save file to our working directory. And now that it's saved right here, we're gonna open the EFI tool so you can download that separately too. EFI tool, open image file. Here we go, mba61.scap. Open. Now we are gonna look for the ME region in this file. So let's open here. Uh, EFI update data file, EFI firmware file, here ME region, compressed EFI row section. So now that we have found row section, we're gonna right click, extract body, and uh, save it uh, right here, for example, that's fine. So now we have extracted the ME region from the file, we are gonna open it again with flash image tool so let's open flash image tool again uh, we don't care same thing we are gonna drag and drop the extracted ME region okay now it has extracted our ME region we can close it we don't want to save those configuration parameters and uh, go back in flash image tool now we are gonna open this directory where the original any region from apple was saved decomp and here we have our any region just quick check the total size right here okay now copy it go back to the flash image tool directory. Here is the directory where our dump was extracted. So same, go to decomp. Check image region size, it's the same. And now we're gonna paste it to replace it. So overwrite, and now it's overwritten. Is it? Oops, yeah, uh, time has been updated, so that's fine. So, now that we have done this, we are going to open Flash Image Tool yet again. Open the configuration we saved earlier. And now what we are going to do is build and build image. Yes. Yes. And uh, yep, so our image has been built at uh, build and out image bin so here we have it and the out image bin right here just as a quick check we are gonna take this file copy it into me analyzer open me analyzer and out image bin so good now we have a clean me region into our uh, file and uh, yeah now you can flash this onto your MacBook.